Hello, Frank Kohler. You work at Suzy Novel as a virtualization project manager. Where would you actually position the solution Suzy is offering in the virtualization market? Hi, Tom. Thanks for inviting me over to have this interview. Um, Suzy is offering Linux for all kinds of platforms, starting from small x86 servers through all kinds of platforms, risk systems, power systems, and even the IBM mainframe. So we see a wide range of, of platforms and all kinds of all those platforms have virtualization technologies and uh, we closely work with hardware vendors to provide virtualization services. And that is not just IBM? It's not just IBM, it's AMD, it's Intel, it's HP and you name it, Unisys. So you support all well-known vendors. Why would you recommend integrating virtualization within the operating system? So we've seen many, many benefits from virtualization today and we see the acceptance growing for virtualization. So it's going to be more people starting to virtualize servers or virtualize clients or virtualize anything at home, at, in the data center. And so you would require some, some kinds of tools who, which enable you to do uh, virtualization. In the past we've seen many many specialists using virtualization and they were doing the command line stuff and uh, you won't want to uh, have a simple user doing all this complicated stuff so you would require some tools which make it much more easier for, for people to start virtualize something, a service, an application, a big server, whatever. So you would really require tools in which are easy to use, which are similar to the look and feel and the experience you have with your day-by-day uh, your -day operating system. So you claim that the early adopters were patient and knowledgeable enough as they observed these virtualization projects evolve to get more stable, scalable and manageable, but that is industry needs to get easier products for the new user base which is waiting just around the corner? Could you give us a practical example from your experience of the challenges those newbies will face when making their first virtualized steps? Mm -hmm. Okay, a challenge is, is typically um, when you start to virtualize without any, any background, you try to do the th things the same way you would do in a, in a physical world. Yeah. And um, so you wouldn't really exploit the, the capabilities offered by virtualization. Um, so, for instance, we had a customer who is deploying Windows uh, guests and he typically assigns two physical CPUs which are in the physical box to, to this instance of the operating system. So he, this customer would as well assign two logical CPUs to this Windows guest. Stick to one-to-one -one virtualization? Um, uh, at that time, Zen 3.1 was, was current and this Zen version did not offer the capability uh, to assign two logical CPUs to Windows guests. I mean, you could assign those two logical processors, but the Windows system could not exploit them. Yeah. Really so, um, so that was was uh, a thing, a challenge for this customer. Of course, we, we educated him, and and but today we can say with Zen 3.2, you have this kind of capability. Do you think the management tools will be integrated in the OS or stay separated? So, um, actually, those users who are not really familiar with virtualization, they will want tools which are easy to use, which are, um, which they can operate uh, like they would operate any tool. So, those tools would require to be in the operating system for the basic management of virtual infrastructure. Of course, in, in, in larger environments, we would need tools which have more features to, to reflect the, the complexity of the data center and to bring uh, more automation uh, into, into the whole process. As Novel is a part of IBM, it always strikes me to see that IBM successfully managed to introduce a virtualization concept in the mainframe world of the 60s and the 70s and although their mainframe related revenues remain important, they are not among the perceived leaders in the virtualization industry today. And moreover, as computer hardware is becoming a commodity today, how do you think IBM can catch up and regain its pioneering position in this field again? That's a tough question, yeah. uh, because I'm not an IBM employee, so I would reflect to, to my personal uh, opinion. Um, 
I think IBM is, is taking great advantage of virtualization as a whole because virtualization enables new fields, new opportunities for IBM to, to sell more servers and this is what they do and, and we see uh, servers specifically designed for virtualization. Of course the virtualization software is not always IBM labeled but from, from one of their competitors with respect to, to the mainframe virtualization software on, on different platforms. Frank, as virtualization becomes easier to deploy and manage, do you estimate this raises the risk for over-virtualization? Uh, I don't see any, any big risk in over-virtualization. It would still require some, some thoughts uh, to when to use virtualization and what kinds of features you would require for that. Uh, specific application or operating system. So it's, it's still a process you have to go through to, to think about uh, what quality of service you would require for a specific application. I was rather thinking about those newbies who try to apply a one-to-one -one translation from their well-known physical hardware to their freshly virtualized environments and also referred to the 90s when Windows-based boxes that sprawled in the business departments were centralized into corporate data centers. Do you think your prospects and customers have learned from the past and are well educated now? Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, in fact, we would uh, require a process to to, um, to bring an application or a service into the data center. Uh, if you just start off using virtualization and you find it so easy to deploy a service or a virtual machine, uh, there's of course this is. Um, risk of really having a, a growing a, ha a zoo of virtual machines and so the, you would require really a, a process to, to even if it's just a virtual process but uh, yeah. Did you witness this mindset change in the data centers you come across? Are customers really aware of the risks of virtual server sprawl? Um, no, typically um, this is an area where uh, little thought has been uh, taken. So it's a good chance for consultants uh, to actually educate customers and end users to, to establish that kind of process to, to help um, to or not to run into a situation where you, you have a, a zoo of, of virtual machines. Frank, how do you see the virtualization software vendor market evolved over the next few months, years, as we witness a handful of big players currently snapping up the smaller niche players through acquisitions? Do you think this impressive consolidation wave can continue to roll on? So if we take a look at the previous uh, question, um, we, I guess we will see companies who are trying to, to, um, to give an answer to this type of challenge and we see lots of companies growing in the virtualization field, um, bringing specific solutions. In general, I truly believe uh, we will as well see, see a consolidation of virtualization players as it's, it's kind of complex to distinguish uh, what their specific selling point is. So um, we will see uh, companies being bought by, by other companies and making it easier for, for a customer to, uh, to choose a solution according to his needs. What criteria should those currently selecting their virtualization vendors base their decision upon? Do you have any impartial advice for those in doubt? talk to consultants. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it, it, uh, you should give some thought before you start to virtualize to what you're trying to achieve and uh, this is typically That's consultants work. <laughs> but still, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a new technology and um, uh, you should not try to, to replicate what you have in a physical world because you would not take advantage of the uh, capabilities of virtualization. So the more effort you, you spend before the project, before starting virtualization, the more you will benefit in the end. Thanks for that good advice and hope to see you soon. Yeah, thanks Tom. Another exclusive interview brought to you by virtualization.com. <laughs>